for the physics? Or is it chemistry? I don't know. I can never tell them apart. Not even close. Well, that's the story of my life, honey, and the story of yours is getting through. Poor girl. The grades. Danny Santos showed up in my psychology class. What do you mean? He showed up. He was there. He says he's auditing the class. I thought he graduated from college. Yeah, already. well, he says he's auditing. He's right there in that damn room with me. Oh, and get this. He signed us up to be study partners. You and Dan? Who else am I talking about, Jeremy? I... I... Oh. Oh, of course, he doesn't want to study. He just wants to sit there and torture me. Why? What did he do? That's all. We were supposed to be reading these ink blocks in psychology class. And he kept looking at them and telling me that they both looked like two people making love. Him and me. Oh, oh, that's great! That's... Wait a minute, how did you handle that? I told him what I thought I saw in the ink blocks. Him getting hauled off to jail for sexually harassing me. You go! Girl, that's good! That's good! And I'll tell you, this is great, okay? Danny has a big thing for you and it's going exactly how we planned. No, it's not going exactly how we planned. There's not a damn thing that's good about this, Drew. And I'll tell you something else, I'm not going to play his game. I'm not going to encourage him. I can't. Do you get it, Michelle? We already went over this, okay? As long as he's sniffing around you, hounding you, he won't suspect that we killed his brother. And, and, and what about Jesse? He won't bother Jesse, who is number one on his suspect list. Now, I'm not I... asking you to enjoy this, okay? I came in the mail for you, Scott. Uh, this is me. Well, hello, hello. Hey, Kane, babe. <laughs> what came? Your new painting. What are you talking about? I see a truce. I'm sorry. It has a phone number, no signature, though. Why is someone sending you an apology letter? And what is all this stuff? It's just work for school, you know, in my psychology class. This kind of looks like a... They're ink blocks. What someone sees in the shade can give a psychiatrist uh, some sort of insight into what's going on in the person's head. Anyway, so, you know, uh, my partner and I were having some trouble getting together with conflicting schedules and... It, um, this stuff is pretty interesting. Can anyone sit in a class and just kind of like... Anyone is no, it? no, no, no. You really have to be <clears throat> enrolled in the class. We just have a really strict professor. You know. Well, I'm, I'm going to get out of here. I told Dinah that I'd check up on her, so... I'll see you. Bye, right, Bill. Bye, Bill. See you later, man. Okay. Ooh. Hi. So I really should just get going and figure out this whole thing with my partner, so... Mike. Oh, Michelle. Yeah. I forgot me. Right. I don't appreciate what you did, and I don't appreciate what you're doing now. 
What am I doing? Stop following me. Stop taking the same classes I'm taking. Don't call. Don't send me things. And stop trying to intimidate me. Where are you going? Please let go of me. Michelle, didn't my card say I'm sorry? Look, I'm sorry that I crossed the line and that I offended you in class, okay? Come on. I mean, you gotta know the difference between an apology and a threat. Yeah, well, things are never the way they seem with you. Okay. What if I told you that I think my brother's death was an accident? And that there's nothing I can do about it, and I'm, I'm letting it go. And now, there's only us. Why are you so upset, Michelle? Because you'll never be over your brother's death. And as for us, there is no us. I love Jesse. I'm with him. And there is nothing that you can do to change that. attracted to me, pretending to let go of your brother's death, whatever. Love the game anyway, isn't it, Danny? I will. 